his hips and change directions. Patterson deep drop, set up, step up, delivers. Caught on the side. Nice play action pass to Eubanks for 26 yards here. Michigan State sending five guys on their pass rush. All these guys you see on the line of scrimmage are the ones delivering the pass rush. No stunts, nothing fancy there. Michigan does a good job picking up all five of them. Job running on this end. Two on one here between Runyon and Bradison. On Winnie's doing fine. JBB and a good job by McCune to pick up Willikus off the edge. 99 does put on this little spin move late, but by that time, Patterson's already getting the ball out, so not overly concerned there. It's a good job by Eubanks. He's going to be going on the shallow cross. His initial assignment is just to chip Willikus on the edge here, chip this player before going out on his route. That allows time for McCune to work his way across the line of scrimmage and form this right side of the pocket for Patterson. Boom. Eubanks gets a little bit of a chip on him. That allows just enough time for McCune to come over and... Does a good job on Wilkes on the edge there. DPJ on a post. Nico Collins on a flag. Eubanks with this little block that I mentioned. He's going on kind of a shallow cross route that kind of fades into this top of the screen. You're going to have Higdon off the play action just kind of going into this uh, flat area. There's the fake. There you have Eubanks kind of fading into that cross route as far as eyes go. Patterson's looking at this deep safety. I'll roll it, roll the footage here a little bit. So you notice right now he's starting to come off and looking at this safety, but initially he was looking at this safety. Not sure why he didn't throw this to Peoples Jones. Honestly, this I was here at the game and I was screaming, and the safety was coming up, and Patterson or yeah, sorry, DPJ had a lot of room. There's a lot of room to throw to here, especially given this guy's going forward. DPJ is running into that zone. So not sure why Patterson came off of it. Regardless, he notices this safety isn't, a, isn't in a position to guard Eubanks on this throw. Throw is nice and high somewhere where Eubanks can go get it. DPJ could have been a better option, but uh, hard to dislike that throw. It was a nice throw. Patterson to throw it. Looking. In zone. Touchdown. Touchdown pass to Nico Collins. Michigan State's only going to bring four on the pass rush here. Michigan will keep in five to block them. It's a good job here initially from Higdon to get a chip on Willikus before going out on his route. Yeah, everyone does a pretty good job here. This entire left side doing a good job. And when you has a block one-on-one, -on -one, he's doing well. JBB is starting to lose his guy. This is at about what was that, eight yards depth. So you'd like to see JBB do a little bit better. Kind of fortunate that Patterson does get the ball out quick. So you'd like to see a little bit better job there. As I mentioned, Higdon is getting a chip on Willikus before heading out to the flat. You have a fade from Gentry. And then this trips, this bunch formation here, you're going to have a shallow cross out of McCune right at the goal line. Nico Collins is going to do an outside release, deeper cross to the back of the end zone. And then you'll have DPJ on an angle route, so we'll kind of cut out here and then I'll cut back inside. Really good throw from Patterson. Let's look at his eyes here. He looks over to the left at the fade over here. Both linebackers initially shift over to the left, given that Patterson is looking that way. So you see like two shuffle steps here. Now that Patterson is looking to the right, he's looking at this matchup right here. He's looking, where is this defender on McCune? Because if, if this defender is falling back into Nico Collins' route, then that'll open up this slot right here to throw to McCune. Given that this is man-to-man -man and Nico Collins is a fast, tall boy and this defender is a step or two behind him, that's going to open up that slot. It's a good job by Patterson to realize these guys can still make a play on the ball right here. He throws it high, lets his 6'4 receiver go up and get it. Great catch by Nico Collins. Good throw by Shea Patterson. Higdon, hit, Higdon, breaks free, Higdon still on the move, picks up a first down, gets down the sideline, burst of speed, cuts. Huge 38-yard pickup for Higdon on this power run to the left. Check the backside here first, you're going to have DPJ picking up 
a linebacker here on the back side. You're going to have JBB, Bradison, and Ruiz all blocking down, forming this right side of the hole. This wall is kind of forming. They all do a good job. And no one really gets through here, so it's a good job by the backside. Runyon really makes this play. So he and McCune are going to be doubling this defensive tackle. They get really good movement. Runyon's going to leave him off for the tight end and then pick up this linebacker. Plows that linebacker out of the way. Does a really good job. Great movement. So that's all on Runyon there. And when you and Gentry are pulling... Really fortunate that Wilkes doesn't make the play here, but you're you're gonna have both Nwenyu and Gentry pulling. And when you needs to pick up Wilkes, he does force Wilkes to go a little bit outside of, in that bend. Does get really lucky there. And then Gentry really doesn't know who to block here. You see, he's coming up field. He he looks like he's targeting the guy that Runyon just blocked, and then he's kind of lost. What he should do, he should blast this guy. Go outside to number five. He does neither, so he ends up blocking no one really. Luckily, Higdon makes a couple guys miss. Then down the field, they make up for it. You got Collins here blocking. He'll run downfield, and then you have Gentry who takes that positioning that he has and really gets probably an extra 15, 20 yards out of this run by going downfield. So, really good run. Higdon makes the play. Patterson under pressure. Finds Perry first. Great play call by Michigan to pick up a third and seven conversion. Interesting pass rush. MSU's bringing six. Michigan has five to deal with them. They have a guy coming off the edge. These two defensive tackles are slanting to their left. This linebacker will be looping around them. Linebacker is going to initially come up, wait for this linebacker to get engaged, and then blitz up this B gap. Then you have this other guy off the edge. So Michigan has five blockers uh, to initially deal with this. You'll have Higdon releasing late. He initially uh, looks like he's going to pass block, but then he goes out. Since it's a quick throw, see, now this is what I was talking about, where number 30 has this free lane, but everyone does a really good job picking up on the blitz. No issues here. By the time he's throwing, he's got plenty of space here, and the blitz never really gets to Patterson. For routes, you have Gentry running this sort of fade on this top on the top of your screen you have Higdon as I mentioned looks up like he's gonna pass block before releasing to the flats late you're going to have DPJ running a uh, you can call it a pick route it's just a fly route just to occupy defenders you have Collins with a stick route so he'll run out open up his hips and go back inside and then Perry's on this kind of angle route he cuts to the outside and then cuts back in towards the yard marker here And you see Patterson's eyes the entire way was on this route action. And I'll cover that here real quick. It's a good job by DPJ. It's good play design. As I mentioned, DPJ, inside release, he'll just go straight up field. His idea is to get this defender and this defender occupied and out of the way for this route for Perry. As he goes up field, now that Perry is on the outside here, Kari Willis, 27, needs to commit to the outside for any outside route. Now that he has... Perry can cut back inside. This defensive back is caught on the wrong side of this route. Both of them are occupied by DPJ. Perry's wide open for a first down. So really good play design, good execution as well. Patterson. Widening up. He's got a receiver. Peoples Jones down the sideline. Peoples Jones. Touchdown Wolverines. 79. Debatably the biggest play of the game, DPJ for a huge touchdown on a beautiful ball from Shea Patterson. MSU is only sending four on pressure here. Michigan keeps five in to protect. No issues here at the time that the ball is being thrown right now. Both tackles doing well. Ruiz doesn't have anyone to block. Both guards are doing well. Really nice pocket here for Patterson to deliver a ball here to DPJ. As far as routes go, you got a fade both from DPJ and Nico Collins down the sidelines. And then both tight ends, McCune and Gentry, are doing out routes. You'll have Higdon on a little flat route here out of the backfield. So really good job here. 
If you notice the eyes for Patterson here, he's looking at this safety all the way, I think. Looks like he's looking right here, notices that he's not going to the outside. He can therefore say that he has one-on-one -on -one coverage with DPJ on the outside, delivers a ball right on the money in stride, and good job by DPJ to break the tackle to break it for a touchdown. So huge, huge, huge play and a great throw and catch. The power back in the backfield. Patterson keeps it, picks up the first down, hits the sideline. This looks like a keeper all the way, huge fourth down pickup. On the back side, you're going to have Eubanks getting to the second level, picking up the defensive back. Runyon gets really good movement on the defensive end, number 96 here. Both do a really good job on the back side. Bradeson has to deal with this blitzing linebacker after initially getting a hat on this nose guard with Ruiz. You'd like to see Bradeson staying engaged with that linebacker. He gets rocked back a little bit, but nothing too bad. Ruiz does really well with the nose tackle. He edges him out kind of to the left here as the, the nose tackle shoots upfield. Good job keeping his hips and, and getting movement on him. JBB and Unwainu do a really good job on this double team of this uh, defensive tackle. This linebacker will come up too. This guy will as well, but in terms of these blocks, they'll push this double team into the linebacker. And when you will fall off and get the linebacker as well, so good movement there. They're going to leave Willicus to come up field. McCune is going to kick out here, and then you'll have Gentry on an out or on an arc block to this defensive back. And Martin's job is to get to this uh, safety creeping up here. Now I think this is a keeper just because it doesn't look like he's actually reading Willicus here. It looks like he's looking like where he's going to be running here. So this block is good. This fake will sell it. Good job by Patterson to kind of sell the fake. You see both these blocks on the edge are set up right now. Gentry does a good job. You'd like to see Oliver Martin stay engaged. Patterson does break that tackle. If he doesn't have to break that tackle and it's a better block, might be a touchdown, but really good play call uh, and a clutch pickup that leads to another touchdown. Higdon. No, it's Patterson on the fake. Patterson going to call this a down G zone read and Patterson sells it extremely well. So the read on this play is Willikus here on this edge. I'm going to call this the backside just because all this action is going to uh, the right here. So on the backside, you're going to have Runyon getting to the backside, backside linebacker. You're going to have Bradison blocking down on this defensive tackle. Runyon does a really good job. And then you notice that this defensive tackle tried to sh cut inside of Bradison. So he lays on him. Good job by Runyon getting out to that second level linebacker. You're going to have Ruiz and JBB doubling this deep, this defensive tackle. And that's to cover for Unwainu's pole. They don't get a ton of movement, but they do well enough. McCune's job is to get to this backside linebacker here, this middle linebacker who will be flowing to the play. Instead, this defensive end kind of holds him up, so McCune doesn't really get good inside or outside leverage on this guy. Eubanks' job is to pick up this play side linebacker, which he does. And when you on his pull picks up that defensive end. So they all do a pretty good job. McCune can't really get too botchy here on this block, but given that it was a pull, not the worst job in the world. And then Patterson, like I said, he's reading reading Willikus. He does a really good job with his head, head fake here. Notice how he, he's looking like he's giving the ball right here to Higdon. And that really freezes Willikus on the edge and then pulls and boom, he's gone. It's a good job cutting to the outside here. He picks up 11 yards. So really good fake, decent blocking, uh, good, good play call. McHugh, the motion man. They hand it off. Mason, touchdown! Touchdown Mason on the ISO counter play. Michigan's bringing, brought uh, McCune on motion here. They're going to bring Wangler on the left side here. This is really key because this is going to be Ben Mason's first step here before cutting back where he'll actually score. It's key because the whole goal of this is to get these linebackers flowing out of there, and that will allow you a mismatch with the number of people you have to worry about on this actual right side. So notice how... Bachi cuts over to this side that opens up this running lane 
and uh, really helps helps your numbers game on that right side. Block of the day comes from a double team from Unwenu and Ruiz. They take this defensive tackle on a ride all the way into the end zone. That really makes this play possible. He is just struggling right now, and they end up in pay dirt. Really makes that play. Really good one-on-one -on -one blocks from Gentry here, as well as JBB, who gets to uh, this linebacker. They do a really good job just setting that right edge of the hole, getting their assignments really well. You know, that's Willikus that Gentry's blocking, not an easy assignment. And then from there, you know, given this double, given these one-on-one -on -one block wins, there's your path for, for Mason. And then he just has to bounce off of a couple defensive backs, and it is a touchdown.